What's up you guys, uh, back again, just to uh, make a little quick MacBook Pro video. Uh, I've had this thing for about a little over a month I believe. Um, yeah, I got rid of the Asus laptop because the power brick or whatever you want to call it got ridiculously hot. It was like, it was like burning my hand every time I pick it up. My sister sat down and she touched it and was like, oh my god. Um, this thing doesn't get that hot. Uh, I've had it get hot once, but it's, it doesn't get that hot at all. And um, it's pretty cool. I'll, I'll have this cable here at home and then just bring the little adapter for school and carry that along. Um, anyways, um, yeah, I love this thing. And uh, I didn't do an unboxing video because I just wanted to play with it. Um, but yeah, here's the box. Um, I have my old PowerBook G4 in here, the 15 inch inside a 13 inch box. It fits, sorta. Of. Um, here's all the old plastic. The, the MacBook was actually wrapped up really well, this thing. And then here's the, pla um, the little soft felt stuff that goes in between the screen and the keyboard. Um, little area here, this little flap pulls up the laptop because it's tightly packed in the box and you need the little flap to pull out, which is pretty cool. Uh, underneath there would have been the power adapter and then uh, it comes with this little pamphlet here. Do this up real quick. Comes with uh, everything Mac, basically a little thing to get you started how to use a Mac. And then uh, everything else, basically it comes with the little CDs and you know, stickers. Everyone loves stickers. You know me, I love stickers. Stick, stick, stickers everywhere. Um, 13 inch MacBook Pro disc right here. It's basically install Snow Leopard. Um, and then the application install DVD. Uh, definitely hold on to these if you're going to be installing Windows. You need If you're going to do boot camp and boot both of them up, definitely need that. That way you get all your drivers and whatnot. Um, I got the 13 inch MacBook Pro. I didn't want to get the 15. Plus, um, it was like another like 300 bucks. I was like, screw it. $300 for size difference of screen. And, um, what else was it? Uh, dual graphics card. I didn't really need all that stuff. And this is compact enough for school. Plus the discs at um, Fullerton. They're pretty small in the forum classes. So if I got a 15 inch, the laptop would probably fall off every time. Um, so let's uh, explain this. This is the newest model of 13 inch. Um, they got rid of the regular MacBook unibodies. They're all MacBook Pros now. 13, 15, and 17 inch. Um, the way you can tell is this SD card slot here. Let's uh, go over the sides real quick. Of course, you got the mag safe right here. Uh, I have low battery because I've been using it all day. Um, cool little thing here is it's double sided. I never knew that until about like a couple weeks ago. But mag safe, you trip over it, it pops right out, you know. Easy. Ethernet, no one ever really uses that anymore. Uh, Fireware, Blues 800. Mini display port, let me talk to us about this real quick. Um, bad thing about this is that you need adapters all the time. If you need to do any video, S video, HDMI, or uh, regular video, or VGA, even to the DVI or whatnot, you need all of those adapters. But the cool thing is, it's compact, this takes a lot less space, but you need adapters. Uh, two USB 2.0s, SD card slot, of course. It will read SDHC, yeah, that thing. Um, high capacity, so you can go up to like 32 gigabyte or whatever they're called, SD cards. Um, here's the audio jack. This is actually auto output and input, both built in together. I did not know that until I looked at the specs. Um, I always thought it was just headphone jack. Um, cool thing is, it works like an iPod. Basically, let's say it's on mute, you plug it in, it will unmute itself, and then bring it to the level it was last on. Uh, and then once you unplug it, it brings it back to your mute setting or whatever you had on before you plug it in. Um, the little button here for battery light it should have the eight LED lights right here. So right now it's going three because it's two whatever it's charging. Um, other side real quick, not much here at all. Because you can lock and a slot loading DVD or a dual laser, in fact. Um, Mac does not support Blu-ray yet. Well, it's 25, I don't think it is whatever. Uh, power buttons right here. Nice and small, probably good as the power book one. Alright, I rarely ever turn this thing off, it's always nice. Power book button, this is this. Uh, of course, you got all your keys. Um, cool thing about this is you got a 
backlit keyboard rather than the Asus did not have it. So uh, let me show you the automatic. Um, let me dim this down real quick. This, this is super bright right now. This is like the lowest brightness, and that's bright already. It has an LED screen, so it's really bright and turns on fast. Um, there's a little, of course, eyesight camera, but then it has the uh, there's a sensor in there for the backlight keyboard. So let's say I just back this off a little bit. Cover that. Keyboard lights up. Cool. Play with this all day. Um, so yeah, very bright LED screen and backlight keyboard, really nice, very helpful when taking notes at class or even just like sitting in bed just typing. Um, of course you got all your shortcut keys, uh, let me run through real quick, um, I'm sorry, I'm just blanking out right now, it's the multi-touch, huge, massive, multi-touch, um, God, why am I blanking out? Mouse pad. Um, okay, this is for you non Mac users so you know how to use it. My friend the other day, Steve, actually yesterday, in fact, we were recording. He got frustrated and got pissed off at my Mac because he doesn't know how to use it. Okay, one click. Okay, that or double click or whatever. This is just single, move around, of course. Okay. This is scrolling to your finger. You don't click it in, clicking in actually right clicks. So two finger scrolling, any direction scrolling, and also clicks. So it's a right click right there. Three finger. This is for navigating your pages. You go back and forward. Even through like Finder or whatnot. It's like my computer. You click my computer, see or whatnot, you just go back and forth in my documents. Um, four finger. Okay. This is the cool thing. You swipe down. Okay, sweaty fingers. Swipe down. Does expose. It shows everything on the screen, all your windows, one, even if it's in the, the dock, let's say Safari was down there, it would still show up as a line. This is the cool new thing about Snow Leopard. There'll be a line showing an inactive window at the bottom and all your actives on the top. And if you swipe back down, it would show all your windows again. If you swipe up, it shows your desktop. And cool thing about this is it's a thing you can do in Vista too. Vista, uh, which it will cycle through your pictures. I have it cycling because I can't stand looking at the same picture all day. Uh, swipe back up, everything comes back. You swipe sideways with four fingers again. It's like hitting Alt Tab, so you slide back and forth through your applications right there. But um, yeah, that's uh, the basics of the MacBook. Um, so like I said, this is 13, the 13 Mac, the 13 inch MacBook Pro on the left, and. 15.4 um, PowerBook G4 on the right. Um, just a little quick tips real quick. Um, this is a glass screen, same with this thing, glass trackpad. It does get dirty quick. Not as dirty as my Asus laptop was. The whole thing was black and you had to clean up. But this thing, it gets fairly dirty quick. Um, they give you this little is it not quite little it's like the same thing as they gave you with the iPod touch little Apple um, clean cloth definitely use it like every day um, also highly recommend getting these things called clear screens like is it eight bucks comes with like a ton of them with the cleaning cloths and whatnot clean off your screen even like Windex but I wouldn't recommend it as much it cleans it off, uh, gets all that gunk off, and uh, here's the iPod I got with it. Um, here's the last thing I need to show you guys, definitely you want to protect your investment. Highly recommend getting a case logic case. This thing, very padded, throw it in your backpack, whatnot. Just slides right in and protects your investment. Uh, power brick will go in here, adapter, whatever you guys want to call it. And this thing, you can put your USB drive in there. Pens, pens and pencils, whatnot. And um, yeah, that's the uh, MacBook Pro. Right,